Meanwhile, the United States has called on the Taliban to release an American civil engineer who was abducted in Afghanistan two years ago. Mark Friedrichs, a 59-year-old U.S. Navy veteran, was kidnapped in early 2020 and passed on to the dreaded Haqqani network that was a month before Washington signed the true pullout deal in Doha. He worked in Afghanistan for nearly a decade on development projects and is believed to be the last American hostage with the Taliban. On the two-year eve of his abduction, the U.S. president said that, and I quote, threatening the safety of Americans or any innocent civilians is always unacceptable and hostage-taking is an act of particular cruelty and cowardice. Calling the, release a non calling the release non-negotiable, the U.S. president added that the Afghan group in power must release Mark before it aspires to receive international legitimacy. Mark's family was criticized, has now criticized the U.S. government for not pressing harder to secure his release Last week, his sister, Charlene, made a personal plea to Biden. She wrote an opinion piece titled, President Biden, please bring home my brother, the last American held hostage in Afghanistan. The U.S. State Department says that they have raised Mark's case in every meeting with the Taliban. And on Monday, the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, once again called on the Taliban to release the last American hostage. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik gets you more on this story in this next report from Islamabad. Listen in. U.S. President Joe Biden has called on the Taliban to immediately release uh, the U.S. contractor Mark Ferrix, who have uh, who has been in their captivity. Uh, now, Mark Ferrix, a U.S. contractor, former uh, U.S. Navy serviceman, uh, was kidnapped from coast. Uh, the U.S. intelligence is convinced that he was kidnapped uh, by the Taliban. But on the, on the other hand, the Taliban have been denying uh, their involvement or its affiliated groups involvement in it in uh, uh, Ferrix kidnap. This has been a long-standing topic uh, and it has been a pressing topic rather that has been in a discussion. It was brought up multiple times during the U.S. Taliban peace talks as well. But as we speak, there has been no headway on the matter. Anas Malik, Islamabad, Pakistan, for Beyond, World is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.